What's up folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more ska, and we're back with another ska cover of a punk rock song I've already reacted to. Indeed, this is another cover by the Mad Caddies on their album Punk Rock Steady. Uh, we're gonna listen to a cover they did of a Propagandi song I just reacted to, and we thought nation states were a bad idea. Or, as we all know, it's really called, and we thought that nation states were a bad idea. I talked about this before, so I'll be brief, but the word that in many contexts, including this one, serves no semantic purpose and is not required for the syntax. So it's just dead wood in the sentence. It doesn't aid the sentence, it's not necessary for the sentence, and it just bogs it down with extra words. So that's my opinion of the word that in many contexts, and even in some situations where it's semantically or syntactically necessary, you could reword the sentence to avoid it, but I digress. Nevertheless, uh, we're going to listen to a tune which was written by Chris Hanna and Jordan Samaleski, or Jord as they call him. Um, and again, I mentioned I really do love reggae and Jamaican music more broadly. Um, you know, when I got into ska and ultimately reggae, it was sort of the be beginning to the middle of the 90s. Um, Operation Ivy was one of the first ska bands I discovered. Um, and it was interesting because I was already aware of the Propagandi song, uh, Ska Sucks. Uh, but nevertheless, I did start to explore sort of some of the bands of the third wave of ska music. Eventually, started listening to some of the earlier, like, second wave of ska, like Madness and the two-tone movement and so on. And then eventually listened to some original Jamaican ska, like Prince Buster and so on. Um, and I really came to enjoy the sort of groovy sonics of reggae music and then you know, came to realize that, you know, there's all these different substyles, roots and um, dub and uh, raga and so on, and then realized that, you know, not just Bob Marley and so on, but many other reggae artists had, like, social social messages in their music. Um, now, look, I'm no Rasta. I mentioned this before. Um, I'm a secular guy, but I do support a musical culture that has generally been opposed to colonialism, opposed to sort of, like, um, you know, cult like forced cultural assimilation and so on. So uh, there are aspects of the musical culture that I really do support ideologically, even if like philosophically um, and sort of epistemologically I have a different take for my own life. Nevertheless, um, it is very interesting and enjoyable for me to hear these searing punk rock songs presented in an entirely different musical idiom, so it's like the message is the same, but the way it comes across is markedly different. And I think this particular cover of a Propagandi song is maybe the best example of it. Uh, so let's get it. This is the Mad Caddies from 2018. Um, did want to show the band again. Uh, but yeah, this is the Mad Caddies from 2018, and their cover of And We Thought That Nation States Were a Bad Idea by Propagandi, originally from 1995. And right now you're thinking, how's he gonna do that opening vocal flourish? Same rhythm? It's so interesting. 
was like a very similar rhythm, but it was halting in a couple places that the original isn't, and then it kind of slid through a couple places where the original has a different rhythm. that came in there was crazy. Oh my god, I forgot, like, I listened to this song on YouTube, but I don't think I, like, paid attention all the way to the end. Like, okay, so, for the context there, Propagandi's original album had a song called Ska Sucks, and it's sort of a cheeky, you know, like, tongue-in-cheek uh, take on what was then the emerging third wave of Ska, and, you know, the chorus is like, Ska Sucks, or the, the first verse is Ska Sucks, the bands are only in it for the bucks, or Ska Revival isn't cool, you stupid fuck, the bands are only in it for the bucks, but the trend will die out with any luck. And again, I don't think it was necessarily Propagandi shitting all over Ska music, I think it was just sort of a tongue-in-cheek kind of song. Um, and again, maybe criticizing some of the bands that like, yeah, this is more about style and less about substance, right? Um, but I love at the end of this song here, which is a cover of a different Propagandi song, and we thought nation states were a bad idea, that they sort of throw in that cheeky bit at the end and then turn it around and say punk rock sucks. I love it. That's just hilarious. Um, gotta give kudos for Mad Caddies for having a sense of humor and also putting their tongue in the other cheek. Um, that was fantastic. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you're enjoying this. Um, as I said, there's at least three or four of these that I want to do right out of the gate because they're covers of songs that I've loved from, you know, the original bands for long periods of time. Um, but there are some songs on here from bands I'm less familiar with, so if someone really uh, would like to hear a reaction to one of the other songs, um, that you know, because again, I'm going to do, I did the Bad Religion cover, I've done the Propagandi cover, I'm going to do the Operation Ivy cover, there's also an early Green Day from um, uh, Dookie, their song She, um, so I might do that one too, um, but like I said, I think there's like six or seven other songs on the album, so if you see one in the track listing that's like, oh, I love that original, I'd love to hear a reaction to that, please do let me know. Other than that, have a good day, have a good night. I appreciate it. Peace.